started in um, my weird um, idea of uh, making a biological self-portrait. Um, I got a grant from the Australia Council. I've been working with biological technologies in an artistic context in a lab in uh, the University of Western Australia in uh, Perth uh, called Symbiotica for years. And um, I thought that it's time to kind of um, try and uh, do something like that. Um, and just before I explain it, there's a few um, things or kind of credits that I want to give. Although it's my self-portrait, as you can see, um, it wasn't a solo project. It's a, it's a collaborative project. And um, um, you know, when I thought that I'd do it myself, it was very naive. You know, I, I didn't really understand and uh, get the scale of this project. So it is a true collaborative project where all those artists and scientists that worked really hard to make it happen own equal parts of it or kind of contribute as much as they can. And I'll just uh, say their names. Um, it's uh, Nathan Thompson. He's there at the back. Um, Darren Moore over there. Andrew Fitch over there. So those are the three uh, the, the three um, artists that uh, joined me here to put it together. But also um, Dr. Stuart Bun uh, Stuart Hodgetts, sorry, uh, um, Dr. Douglas Buckham and Dr. Mike Dell, three scientists um, from Australia, um, Zurich, and um, Barcelona. So they're all very helpful in making it all happen. So self, as we kind of describe it, it's the um, uh, first, the world's first neural synthesizer. And it's also my um, 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 uh, self-portrait. It's a cybernetic musician, or it's a living entity, it's a living musician. I mean, it, it looks very much like a machine. And yesterday, people dared to call it a machine. But it's not a machine, it's a living entity, it's a cybernetic musician, it's alive right now. Um, at the top here, there's a little Petri dish, an interface dish, where a neural network, approximately 100,000 cells, 100,000 neurons, are growing, form, they formed the network a couple of uh, weeks ago when I started to work in biophilia with James, and um, they created the uh, biological network and they started to kind of function as a biological network. Not an artificial neural network, but a real biological neural network 100,000 cells where the action potentials, the electric signals, they go and they pass through the components to um, um, transfer data between them. Now those neurons, they grow, they're not um, isolated from this world. They grow on an array of electrodes, 64 electrodes, they just grow on top of them. And those electrodes, the interface dish, they can listen to what the neurons are doing in 60 areas of the dish. They can pick up the electric signals from this neural network in 60 areas of the dish. But in a really um, interesting kind of way, they, we can also stimulate them back. We can talk back to the neurons. We can tell them stories or information or whatever we want about the outside world. And today, the music um, that the humans here are going to play is going to be streamed to the music, to the um, network through those electrodes. So back to the self-portraiture, I mean, I always wanted, you know, when I was young, I always wanted to be a musician, but I never played. I never tried even to play, I'm quite crappy at that, but I do, I can grow neurons. So I decided to grow my own exter external brain. I took a biopsy from my arm of skin cells and I used stem cell technologies to transform or reprogram or to trick those um, um, skin cells to become stem cells. And those stem cells are cells that have the potential of becoming any other type of cell in the body. So I did that and I ended up with stem cells. And then I tricked them and I um, made them change their identity or transform it into neurons. So in effect, I, was, I ended up with my own external brain, my own neurons growing outside of my body. And because I wanted to become David Bowie, and I can't play, I gave them a, a, um, sound, producing a sound producing body in the um, shape of an array of uh, neural um, analog modular synthesizers. So, the signal goes from those 
um, neurons that teach down to this neural interface over here, and when you see those kind of red LEDs flashing, those are the actual potentials. This is the neural data that they're producing, and we're using those control signals to control the synthesizers. So it's not that the neurons are making sound. The neurons are not playing, well, they're not making sound, but they are controlling through um, uh, control voltage the um, analog modular synthesizers. And what's happening today is that we invited the Tifun Ensemble to play with self. And the music that they're going to play is going to be streamed to the neurons at stimulations. The neurons are going to respond, hopefully, to their um, sounds and to kind of control the um, analog modular synthesizers. And just to kind of join kind of the band or ensemble um, as the fifth member of um, the ensemble. So thank you very much for um, doing that. One last thing, um, there's uh, 16 speakers around this space, and um, they reflect the um, activity in the dish. So if this area is noisy, you know that the bottom left part of the dish is active. If this area is active, the bottom right um, of the dish is active, and so on. So I know that you're kind of sitting, and it's great, but if you want to kind of to any point in the performance to kind of walk around and to see kind of how um, the, the, the speakers produce different sounds and the neurons are, uh, in different areas of the dish are active, you're more than welcome. So thank you very much. And um, let's start. <laughs>